It's, it's happening all around Billings. Residents forced out of their homes due to the rising cost of rent. Right now in Billings, renters are paying as much as $13.50 a month, forcing those on a fixed income to either decide to leave or cut other crucial costs. I spoke with a single mother who says she's living this nightmare, but she's fighting to stay, and here's why. Here at the Homesteader Apartments on Grand. This was the first time in years that I'd been on my feet. Single mom Angie Schmidt is determined to keep it that way. My biggest goal is to just not be homeless in between here and the next place. After all, she's trying to keep a stable home for her nine-year-old son, Skyler. I mean, yeah, he's number one, and basically I live paycheck to paycheck. She's been here 13 months. And back in March, learned the complex was purchased by Dwayne and Tiffany Youngren. Luckily, Angie already signed a new lease agreement that same month. March of 2026, that it's supposed to be honored. You had, you had a two-year lease. Mm -hmm. But Angie says the new owners didn't care. They canceled out the lease, and they said that if we wanted to stay, that it would be 1300 a month. So they basically... It's like hired it by 85%. What's happening to Angie is happening to Montanans all across the state. We have seen the number of folks calling us, contacting us about evictions, raise dramatically, like over 20%. Amy Hall is an attorney with Montana Legal Services, which helps Montanans protect their civil rights. She says in a contract lease scenario like Angie's, the renter has protections in the eyes of Montana law. You know, it's presumed when a uh, property is sold, if there's a renter living there, the buyer has to be informed of that and knows if they go ahead and purchase the property that they're purchasing it subject to the renter's lease. Right now in Billings, the median price for rent is about thirteen forty nine a month. That means in order to afford a two bedroom unit in Montana, someone would have to earn nineteen twenty eight an hour. And Montana already has a deficit of over 16,600 affordable rentals available to those with extremely low income. It's just taking some of my power away and our safety of our home. Angie, who has contacted a lawyer, believes the new owners have no legal grounds to force her out of her rental. So she says she's not going anywhere. I just, once again, don't want to be homeless in between and I'm going to stand strong until I reach that goal. I did reach out to the new property owners of that building who declined to comment for this story. I also asked Amy Hall with Montana Legal Services about solutions to the issues. She says there are a few takeaways here. One, we need more affordable housing across the state, but another solution is asking property owners to take a hard look at their bottom line. Here's what she says. I mean, we all know that property taxes have risen and that's those are costs that have to be um, absorbed by the property owners. So yes, they may need to raise the rent some, but hopefully they could be compassionate with those rent increases um, and they don't have to raise the rents as high as the market would allow.